Hey everybody, I got this short tutorial for Pixel Sonic 101. He wants to know how can Sonic change animation based on the player speed. I have this this old blend file that I that I found from probably 2010, 2011. Uh, you can see how like the the character animation changes. I kind of changed it up a little bit to for this tutorial, but I'm going to use this tutorial. We're going to start from scratch, and this is kind of like the final. Uh, outcome of that so let's get started alright so we got our scene ready is a uh, basically just classic sonic model I have a uh, object right here player object and then I have the armature which on here basically I have a keyboard that tells it to move when I uh, press D so that's all it does right now so what we're going to do is we're going to try to get the the speed of what this this object moves at. So I have a script. It's a little small script. I'm just going to call it a uh, get movement speed. And all we're going to do is I got a script right here. Let me see if I can bring this up a little bit bigger. Basically, what this script says is you know. We're gonna import the the Blender game engine logic, and we're gonna take the this variable count, and we're gonna take get the current controller, which will be of this object. We're gonna get the current controller, this, and then we're gonna take this ownership of this. So the controller equals the owner of this object. So we want to get the linear linear velocity which is this right here it says get linear velocity so let, here we go this is much better get linear velocity it'll basically saying of this object we're gonna get the linear velocity current linear velocity and we're gonna place it into this and we're gonna take this value right here and we're gonna get the magnitude and place it in the speed what magnitude means basically on the vector if any axis we're going to get the speed so we could say on the z-axis we can get the speed or the y-axis or the x or the x-axis but we're going to say the magnitude if this this object moves anywhere we're just going to get the value and owner player speed which is the property which we do need to set we, we add the speed to this player property so on your character or the object we just need a, a property player speed you don't really need this but if you're going to use logic it's, it's really nice to use it so we have this here so when we run this script we need to always sensor on the object and have Python have the script right here get players oh I got get movement speed and then we just set this to true pulse this means that this is going to run every frame. So every frame this runs. So I'm going to go up to debug, uh, show, show debug properties. And let's see if we can get, see uh, at the top of the screen we have uh, the player speed value. And when we move, we can see it increases. I don't know, maybe I can zoom it in. But when we move, we see the value increases as, as the player goes faster. Since we have this now, we can actually use that to change the animation. Just this small script right here, we can use that to change the animation. So if we go back to our armature, I already have here some some animations already on the character. Let me see if I can bring this up a little bit more. So I have an idle, a walk 20, a run spin walk 15 and run 1 let me organize this a little bit because it's out of order but walk 15 should be the second one so you will need your animations already made so if you just want that we can uh you go here add in the action actuator and then you add in your animation that you have set the start and ending frame and also it's very important in the newer blenders to change a layer of each animation 
because uh, it's kind of a bug, or I don't know if it's a bug, but I just know that you have to change the layer because it, it might glitches if you try to change the animation or something like that. So we will probably here, we probably want to also have a property on this armature named player speed too. And what we're going to do is we're just going to, it's a couple ways to do it, but we're just going to get, to keep it more clean, we're just going to tell it to, we're just going to copy over the property. Let me see here, bring this up a little bit more. So we're just going to copy over the property from the the main object of the player object. So the player object has that property. We're going to take that player player speed and place it on this one. And we're going to make sure it's basically copying over the value player speed. The script runs on here, and we're just going to take that same value on this object and, and have the same basically have the same value. And then that way, we have this player speed value on the armature, and we can say something like this: just bring out a property sensor, and then we can use these action action animations right here and use that accordingly. So the idle animation, we should say something like if it is less than you know your idle animation say the player speed is less than 0 0.01 then we will play that that idle animation we can have let's bring some more in here we have uh, interval the next one will be your walk animation we take in the property player speed if the player speed is minimum on I mean point zero one and the maximum let's say four it'll play this animation and then we'll do that for the rest of them so if this is four maybe four and four and eight we'll play our walk fifteen animation and we have an interval here 8 through 12 we'll play our we'll play our run 1 animation I think the run is the final one run 1 animation and if the player speed is between well we could just say if it's greater than 12 we'll just play this run animation right here so let's see. So okay, now we have our our idle animation, have our walk animation, our walk our walk fifteen. Let me restart that. Then we have our, our run one animation and our run animation. And then we, we can always tweak the values where we want it to play. So yeah, I hope this answer your question. There's also another way. I'll I'll post a blend. Um, I'll post a blend with probably a Python version, and I'll have this version. And hopefully this can get you started with that. But this is a very simple, a very simple way to do it. All right.